we're hearing from a man who claims to have heard the shots ring out downtown the night a shooting left six people and an officer injured. The youngest victim, just 17 years old, because of that shooting, MLK Park and surrounding streets in Rochester will now close each night earlier, and there will also be an increased police presence in the area of the park for the next several days. We're going to head now to Isabel Garcia, who is at the park. She joins us live with the details. Isabel. Yes, Teresa, I spoke with a man named Denzel Glenn who tells me he lives in these nearby apartments just beyond me, which overlook the green space you can see uh, just over my shoulder here, which uh, is where he says this gathering took place when this gunfire erupted. And he was awoken by the sounds of it. This did happen in the early morning hours. It was around 3 a.m. Sunday morning, uh, saying that he first thought that the sounds were some type of firework or firecracker. And you'll hear from him in just a moment. First, I do want to draw your attention to this portion of Court Street just beyond here. This is just past Chestnut Street. This is the area which will be closed down this section of the street here uh, just up until the roundabout down the street there. That will shut down in about one hour, seven o'clock. That is the change. Uh, we have video and I can see here uh, at both ends of the street, uh, the fences to block off those that section there. Uh, the park itself, as you mentioned, will be shutting down at eight o'clock. It's typically open till 11. Earlier this afternoon, there were multiple police investigators canvassing the area, mostly centered around that green space that the neighbor has described as the site of where the uh, really nucleus of the gathering was taking place. Broken bottles, drink caps, even a shot glass, caution tape, all items that could be seen around the steps just beyond that green space. Other park goers I spoke with today also tell me this is a very concerning situation, noting the ages as well among the people injured. As you mentioned too, this included a 17-year-old as well as an 18-year-old. And Glenn, the neighbor, also tells me there were at least 40 people and describes what he heard and witnessed when gunfire first erupted. I got woke out of my sleep. Thought it was like firecrackers or whatnot, and just turns out gunfire. So I got out of bed and I went to my balcony, and I just looked and all I could see is people scattering. Yeah, they really don't know how to chill out. That, that was going through my head. And now, here we are. More police, more cameras, more ignorance. And as uh, has been mentioned, Rochester police do say there is an increased police presence in the area. Uh, there is an RPD unit with some floodlights as well as a camera down in the base of the MLK site. Also hearing from the city today that any city sanctioned events such as the concert series parties in the park will continue as planned. Uh, the mayor has noted any of the security measures will be in place for the foreseeable future. For now, we'll send things back to you at the desk reporting live in Rochester. Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel